developing right now. At least 60 people believed to be dead and more than 145 injured after terrorists opened fire inside a crowded concert hall in Moscow. And tonight, ISIS is claiming responsibility for the deadly attack. Meanwhile, here at home, there's a memorial to the victims outside the Russian consulate on the Upper East Side. All right, Fox News Sharon Crowley live in the newsroom with the latest on the deadly attack. Sharon. Yeah, the Islamic State is claiming responsibility, posting about it on social media, and we're still waiting for that to be verified. This is the deadliest attack in Russia in years. This concert in uh, this concert hall in Moscow can hold 6,000 people, and many were inside when terrorists armed with weapons and explosives invaded the building. At least four gunmen armed with assault rifles and dressed in combat fatigues opened fire inside a large concert hall in Moscow, killing 60 and wounding more than 100 people. The terrorists shot at concert goers at point blank range. Innocent people at the entertainment venue there to listen to music, now victims of the deadly rampage. The gunmen also set fire to the venue, causing the roof to partially collapse as emergency responders rushed to the building. The images are just horrible, just hard to watch, and our thoughts obviously are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. John Kirby is the White House National Security Communications Advisor. The State Department or embassy there uh, put out a notice to all Americans in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. This attack comes just days after President Vladimir Putin secured six more years in power. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility, but that has not yet been verified by Russia or the U.S. The Islamic State, uh, actually over the past several years, have been looking to target Russia because they claim that it has blood on its hands from its activities going back to Afghanistan, Syria, and even in Chesnia. Bill Daly is a former FBI investigator and international security expert. He says Americans should be paying attention to what happened in Moscow. I think we need to be concerned because it, it shows that if in fact it is ISIS and the ISIS-K branch uh, that's carried out this attack, is that they're becoming quite active. And tonight, Russian news outlets are suggesting that the assailants escaped before special forces and riot police arrived at the concert hall in Moscow. Reports also saying that police patrols are looking at several vehicles they think the attackers could have used to flee. Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you.